Cool. Alright, let me look at the options. Auto dash on. Cursor memory. I don't think I'm using the cursor anyway. And everything should be fine. Audio seems good. Alright, let's start. Hey Milo, how you doing? Also, uh, let me just go quick. There we go. Move that. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. I've I've spent way too much time trying to put the audio in Angels of Death episode four, so. Any blonde to me looks like Rachel right now. <laughs> um, good you. I'm I'm doing all right. It's already been two years to the day since mother passed away. Surely father would come today at least. Uh, this is gonna be really hard to say the names of. Only daughter of the Rhine-Weiss family? I think that's how you say it. I just find on this side? Good, thank you. The girl headed towards her mother's grave. An arrow pointing... That an object means that checking it will cause something to happen. Real quick, let me adjust the mic. Pray at mother's grave. Oh my god, she's fucking fast. <laughs> Many names are written here alongside the test. text. Magic attack children. What? A gravestone with an unfamiliar name. A gravestone with an unfamiliar name. It's the same. Oh my god, there's way too many. Ah. A loving couple rests here. The names are faded, but it seems they were shopkeepers. Interesting. Wait. Oh. Okay. Just checking. You know, you never know. Could find something useful or interesting. Like the whole shopkeeper one. Unfamiliar name, unfamiliar name. Sheep. The first rests here. See? <laughs> Sheep the first. Uh. Uh. I know how annoyed you were when no one told you last time. By the way, I wasn't there when that happened. Yeah, I don't think so. You came later, I think. That was like at the very beginning of uh, of this whole marathon. Father, sure enough, you were nowhere to be seen. I guess I shouldn't have hoped for much. He's never come to visit with me before either. Oh. Mother, someday I'll make sure father and I come visit you together. Is it really that late already? I'll come back again, mother. Please watch over us from heaven. As the cemetery turned to sunset hues, the girl left it behind and hurried back home. Oh my god. That was not a... <laughs> the game just started and my throat is already starting to feel it. Alright. I'll be back, mother, and I'll bring father next time. Good thing I made tea beforehand. Welcome, <laughs> welcome home, Mistress Lin. Diana. 
gentle and scatterbrained maid. I'm back, safe and sound. Now then, dinner has been prepared for everyone in the dining room. Right, of course. Ah, uh, I was a little late getting home, wasn't I? No, it's no problem at all. After all, you told us what time you would be back before heading out. We merely adjusted to match. Sorry for making things difficult. There was a time where... Huh, there was a time when I would worry if you were still out past nightfall. But ever since the lady of the house passed, you've become so graceful, Mistress Lin. I... suppose I have. I'm growing up too. <laughs> so you are. Now, don't dawdle. To the dining room. Right. Did you go climbing trees again today? I haven't done that since I was tiny. I'm 15 now, Diana. It feels a little lonely how dignified you've become lately, mistress. Really? I'd call it a good thing. Oh, okay, it's the same dialogue. Mother Three's getting plushies in Japan? Oh, nice. A stone statue resembling a goddess. Stone statue resembling a goddess. Dining room. Ah, father. Um, I... I went to visit mother's grave. I'm sure you're aware, but... Today was the anniversary of mother's death. And... I know you must be busy, but, um, maybe next year we could go together. I'm sure Mother would love that. Um. What are you saying to me? Rose, my dear wife, is most certainly not dead. Oh god, mentality at one, that is not a good thing. Klaus, Lin's wife adoring father. Rose, Rose, you're always here with me. Father, don't you dare spout that nonsense about Rose like, being dead ever again. Father! Forget it. I'm fine. P Please, let us be... E excuse me, what the fuck did you just say to me? Please let us be excused to death. Elisa, you've got some real speech problems. Like, <laughs> and that's coming from me. Elisa, an ultra, clum an ultra clumsy maid... Bad at formal speech. Okay, yeah, I could tell. Look. <laughs> and with that stumble, she's ex she's exceeded 20 trips in a single day. <laughs> Elisa just set a new tripping record. Good for her. <laughs> uh, Mistress Lin? Uh, uh, um, sorry. I was spacing out a bit there. Now, let's heat. Yes, indeed. Certainly. Your seat, mistress. She kept count? Yeah. <laughs> um... Nice weather we're having. Yeah, it is nice. <laughs> this is so awkward. Uh, ah, it seems it'll be even nicer tomorrow. Oh, really? <laughs> and then it starts raining. Um, 
Say, mistress, were you aware of this? There have been some frightening incidents occurring in the area lately. Incidents? Men walking around at night have been getting killed one after another. It seems quite a hot topic in the papers. Diana, now is not the time for such topics. Oh, you're right, of course. Apologies, that was an inappropriate subject to bring up during a meal. No worries, it's alright. Mistress Lin, could I have a moment? Yes, what is it? Gordon, a serious butler who never cracks a smile. Well, I did not stop you. What with it being the anniversary of your mother's death? Please do refrain from going out by yourself in the future. We cannot allow anything to happen to the only daughter of the noble... I think it's Reinweiss family? Because the, the B isn't actually a B, it's an S, right? Reinweiss. I gotta check this. I don't... Hold on, let me, uh... Let me look this up. There we go. I didn't even need to move. Perfect. Uh, on. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Uh, pronunciation. Or is it Ryan White? No, I doubt it. I mean, I guess maybe the Weiss is what, like, means white, potentially. Uh, hold on, hold on. Is it this? Oh, wait. It's, a, it's exactly... Wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got it right. Yeah, it's Rhyme Weiss. Rhyme Weiss, I guess it is. So, like, with the V sound. So, yeah. We cannot allow anything to happen to the only daughter of the noble Rhyme Weiss family. Thank you for worrying about me. It's alright. I'd never go out without letting you know. Well, then, that is a relief to hear. And considering the master's behavior ever since his wife passed, you simply must make yourself a worthy Harris as soon as possible, Mistress Lin. Yes, sir. Wait, uh... Okay. Granted, you have become quite refined as of late, Mistress. In the past, you would go out and not return until it was pitch dark. To say nothing of the tattered clothes that came of your tree climbing es escapades, um, yes, I'd almost forgotten. I'm certain your mother in heaven is pleased. Please do keep it up. Thank you very much. Thank you for the meal. I'll be returning to my room now. Please don't hesitate to ask us for anything. We'll be here in a flash, as swift as a mountain. Uh, what? Swift as a mountain? Apparently it's a saying they have in Japan. Gordon taught it to me. The wind, Diana. Swift as the wind. Like he said. I don't really follow, but... Thank you very much. <laughs> After dinner, the girl decided to head to her room at the east end of the first floor. Rumors, serial murders, added to notes. Open the menu and choose notes to view them anytime. Okay. You know, at dinner, you had me serve quite a bit, did it? didn't you? Huh? I figured as much. Refined as you may become, there's no changing your gluttonous nature. Thanks for your concern. Don't mention it.
Mistress, even if it's in your own room, you mustn't wear a jerk. Um, whatever it was. A jerk? What? I ask you always choose your dress with full cog cognizance. Whatever that means. Of your status as a noblewoman. I I understand. Of course. A jersey maybe? But this seems old timey, so I don't I don't know if jersey ex jerseys exist. Though it's not getting use in this season, the maids polish this fireplace every day. Wait, what country does it take place in? Uh, I'm guessing Germany. Since it seems like like the name seems uh, German. The butler, Gordon, starts his mornings by watering the plants in this room. Uh, let's go to the kitchen. Hey there, Lynn. How's my cooking today? Heinz. Yeah, that's a very German name too. Salt, just a pinch. <laughs> a cheerful hired chef devoted to cooking. Your cooking is always delicious, Heinz. Well, because it's me making it, of course it's delicious. And yet, the master always leaves leftovers. That's because father isn't feeling well. But truly, thank you for everything you do. Hey, it's just my job. Come to think of it, you always used to sneak in here and grab a bite. But not so much lately. You're actually being like a lady now. Feels kind of lonely. I, I don't do things like that anymore, okay? Um, can I go to the courtyard? Uh, damn, there's just no in nothing to interact with? God damn. He was trying to say a jersey? I mean, I guess, but I mean, the time period seems a little off. When were jerseys made? Oh, Kai, what are you up to? Okay, maybe not actually. Oh, Mistress Lin. I'm teaching this dog some tricks. Kai, a gardener who loves animals. Hey, cool guy. If he loves animals, you know he's a cool guy. Turn. That's a good dog. Wow, amazing. I'm always out here in the garden, so this guy's the only one I've got to talk to. Well, then I'll do my best to come visit you in the garden as well. After all, I did play with, with you often in the past. To get away from studying, that is. I mean, no, that's not it. It was just a change of pace. Sure, let's go with that. Still, you've gotten a lot more mistress-like lately. Thank you very much. But I think it'd be, it'd be good if you could play with these guys more from time to time. But... He didn't say more, but alright. <laughs> I'm just stupid. Of course. To be fair, Germany did invent the Olympics. Oh. There, there. Cute little dog. Good doggy. Good little doggo. Dining room. Oh, I'm back here. Okay. Um, can I explore a little bit more? No. Alright. There's no need to go this way. Oh. Alright. Me so. Will I think... Yeah. Will everything be alright, I wonder? The master has changed greatly since the death of his wife two years ago. Mistress Lin seems quite worried for him. It seems he's grown docile, perhaps even meek. As if she believes acting like Lady Rose would return the master to normal. But even Mistress Lin will give up, I'm sure. Admit that there's no bringing back the old master. 
No, that isn't what I'm concerned about. As Mistress Lin's educator, I must issue her all manner of warnings. However, as a result of that, I am concerned whether the mistress has come to despise me. Oh dear Gordon, you seem rather torn up about it. You were never very liked to begin with, so I'm sure it's alright. <laughs> What was that? Do you suppose she'll call me Gramps again? Or do you suppose she'll ever call me Gramps again? Oh, I'm sure she'll be calling you something soon enough. Old, old Coop, maybe. Anyway, I still have work to do, so please don't bother me. God damn, these two hate each other. Jesus Christ. It can't be. Don't call me, don't call me old Coop, Mistress Lynn. Can I go back? You know, at dinner... Oh, okay, it's the same. That's unfortunate. <laughs> the rivalry? Yeah. There's no need to go this way. Alright. Packed with everyday goods. Filled with clothing and the like. A dresser containing many changes of the same clothes. God, the art is so good. Mother. When you gave me this pendant, you said it would save me whenever I was in trouble. Well, I'm troubled now. I want father to go back to being his kind self again. But I guess that's a problem between father and I. I'm sure you'd scold me, mother, and tell us to settle it ourselves. So, please just forget I said that. I'm... I'm sure things will be fine. As long as... As long as I'm good, I'm sure father will... He'll regain a positive outlook and look at me again. Though, I'm not at all confident of that. <sighs> Today's just been no good at all. I keep feeling done in the dumps. Gotta break out of this negative negativity. At times like these, I need to change of I need a change of mood. That's right. There's only one way to get out of this funk. Today, I'm gonna really psych myself up. First, I need to make preparations. When it uh, when it comes time to search a room, a arrows will mark required places to check. Uh, controller? Checking these places will cause the story to, pro to proceed. Let's see. Here it is. Obtain the headband. Ah, yes. That's where they were. Obtain glow sticks. <laughs> she go to an... Is she going to an idol concert? What the fuck? Okay, next up. Yep, you gotta have comfortable clothes. Oh god, she really is wearing a jersey. Oh damn. <laughs> ah, no doubt about it. Japan's Imamura brand is the best. From flexibility to feel to cost, they truly meet. Uh, they truly meet my every need. Is this a self-promotion or some shit? <laughs> All that's left is to plop down on the sofa. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. Wait. Is that? Wait. Is it? Is she actually gonna watch an idol concert or some shit? Preparations are complete. And now, engage! Wow, I thought this was gonna be old timey, but no, this is like... <laughs> this is like recent, I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's get started! It's like full idol otaku. 
Vampires. The undying monsters who feast upon the lifeblood of humans. With their grotesque power, the day these lords of the night come to rule this world is nigh. Is nigh. Indeed, so it was thought. Centuries ago, vampires really existed. They say this movie is a historical piece depicting what that time was really like. I mean, it's awfully dubious whether some of the stuff in, in this is actually non-fiction, but... Still, I've read the literature, and I'm confident. This movie is almost definitely mostly historical. Damn, so I guess jerseys do exist then. Yeah. I, w I was like... I thought this would be like... Century. Like, this would be like... I don't know, like... His... Like... I don't know, like old-timey... Time era. Or something. But no, this is like... I, I guess this is like in, in the 2000s. <laughs> My fellows. I commend you for coming. And I commend you for... And I commend your determination. That accursed human. How irritating. I can't exterminate them myself. It's unfortunate, but it seems even the power of the Nine Kings was no match. To think we who are called kings would have to fear but a single man. A single human. Comrades. For the sake of the many vampires lesser than us, we must kill that human. And to that end, the hearts of the nine kings shall become one flesh. And so shall we be the only king. I don't like it, but so be it. Anything to kill that nuisance. We are nine yet one. One yet nine. Come comrades, offer up your hearts. For that most heinous vampire who shall kill our foe. The one named... I have no idea how to say that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that one up. Say it would be like 80s since the projector is using color. Yeah, I guess. Um, fun. New... Pronunciation. Because I have no idea how to say this. Um. Wait, no, that's. Uh. No, wait. Noon tote. No, that's. I, I don't think that's. Uh wait. Nine tutor. Uh what? Nine tutor. That's uh Hold on, I'm gonna need a little more than that. Because that's not technically the same word because there's no R. Uh, let me see something real quick. Um, uh, German, man. uh, yeah, like this. Nine tutor. 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 I guess. If there's any German watching this, I am so sorry. <laughs> Nine tutor. These nine kings 
are said to be the ancestors of all vampires. Their power is immense, but there's a human even they can't beat. It's alright, I barely understand it anyway. <laughs> That means the vampires are in a real pickle. But not only did they not give up, they decided to combine themselves. A wild idea humans would never even consider. How compelling, how enchanting. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Born of nine hearts, offered by the strongest vampires. I am the king of vampires. I am Noin Tuta. Now, puny humans. Allow me to exterminate you. Evilly, bloodily, eternally, Noin Tuta. Noin Tuta traveled across the land and in every place he went a deadly illness struck what's more it spread itself rapidly mothers rolled in horror cradling dead children in their arms husbands who lost their wives died cursing died cursing the frailty of humans I'm blind of course many vampire hunters attempted to kill Nyan Tuta but they all died in vain. Played with like toys before his power. It was a slaughter of overwhelming violence. Some people have this theory. They suggest that maybe an actual plague that once happened was caused by non Tuta. Naturally, there wouldn't be much they could do against a virus they couldn't see. And since he had the power of nine people, vampiric ancestors at that, he was truly unstoppable. And then one day, the strongest human appeared. <laughs> so you've come. Monster, death is too good for you. I was beginning to tire of all these humans unable to put up any resistance. It would seem they call you the strongest, do they, human? To start my boredom somewhat, would you? Hm. I'll end this in a flash. Now, human. Let us dance joyfully beneath the crimson moon. Oh lord, render your judgment upon him. It seems the vampire hunter who fought Noin Tuta here really existed too. Even though vampires are immoral beings, it said he was able to kill them. What a rivalry, so intense. Yeah, it's like your workers. The most heinous of vampires and the strongest of vampire hunters cr clashed. Rumor of that battle spread far and wide. Yet none know the outcome of their fight to the death. However, one thing is certain. After this day, vampires completely vanished from the stage of history. Man, no matter how many times I watch that, I'll never get over how cool vampires are. Even across all the literature I've read, it seems nobody knows who won, like the movie says. But if the vampire had won, then... I'm sure this world would be ruled by vampires now. Still, I can't help but dream. If a vampire appeared and sucked the blood from my neck, 
Uh, I can hardly contain myself. This girl's a masochist, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, um, strictly out of curiosity. I understand it's not very likely. Huh? Is it that late already? I guess I got a little overstimulated. I'll have my bath and get to bed. Though first... The butler Gorgon gets super mad at me whenever he catches me wearing a tracksuit. It's so inconvenient not being able to wear one outside of my room. Sniff. I'm sorry, tracksuit. Someday I'll get Gorgon... Gorgon? Someday I'll get Gordon wearing one for you. Okay, bath time. It's pretty late, so I'd better act quietly. Oro? Was that father? What is he doing at this hour? I'm curious about father. I just heard the front door close. Did father go outside? That's unthinkable. His health has been poor ever since mother passed away. It's rare to even see him out of his room except for meals. And when he does go outside, he always has someone accompany him. Not only that, but weren't there those rumors about a murderer? Father. Oh god damn, this music is good. Ah, if I go out without telling anyone, but I don't have much choice here. Father, just where are you going? He's checking to see if he's being watched. Why in the world would, we, would he be so wary, I wonder? Is the music supposed to be stuttering? I don't think it is. <laughs> is there something he doesn't want people to see? Alright then, I'll follow him in secret. Uh... Then Rhyme Vice mission, tell your father. I like how I like how all three like all three lines are written in a different font. <laughs> the girl decided to discreetly follow her strangely acting father. The girl the girl's aged father seems to seem to have poor visibility in these dimly lit street. He likely wouldn't notice it when he's turning around as long as as long as she were hiding behind something. Okay, is is my headphones okay or is it just a game issue? Or is it intentional? However, were she to fall too far behind, the girl would surely lose sight of her father. He started to move. Yeah, it's definitely German. I think it's intentional? Okay, let's hope so. 
<laughs> I just barely avoided that. I think father went this way, but... Gah! A scream? Eek! They... They've been killed. Both of them. Yeah! What? Don't kill me. Sensing danger, the girl took off immediately. Again. Leave from question mark. Oh, Jesus Christ. What do you want? Please say something. What should I do? Run back, run upward, run forward. You know what? Run. F I didn't notice that I had a time limit. What do I do? Ah! I'm dead. Yep. Huh? What's with this bad vision I just had? What should I do? Okay, yeah, I have five seconds. Run forward. It's sink or swim. I'll run past that person. That's... <laughs> yeah, that, that was just not a good idea. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking of, like, just go forward, just punch that dude in the face. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing up, so run back. I'll go back the way I came. Or, okay, I guess up. There's just a bunch of boxes there. Huh? What's the vision I just had? Run up, I guess. I'll hide in that alley up here. No! To that end. Please stay away. Somebody. Somebody help me, father. Mother. What? At least it doesn't take long to get back to the options. Yeah, it seems like death isn't. It seems like dying doesn't actually do anything. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you for the save. Literally. Where is this? Am I alive? That person seems to be gone, but... Huh? What? What is this place? Why is there no one here? Not only that, something strange. This place feels otherworldly. I guess it's better to find out where this is. The girl decided to take a look around. I wonder why. For some reason, I don't want to go this way. Uh, there's... Uh... I don't know what that is, but... Just now, did something... Yeah! Hey, it didn't even do anything. Why did it break? Please? There we go. Something's written here, but I can't read it. I don't recognize this language. Ow! I can't see it, but there's something here. Nope, I can't go through here. <laughs> it's like kicking your ass like silver. <laughs> What's this, I wonder? 
I don't think it's a tree. Nope, can't go through here. Oh, hi. I just got the feeling someone was watching me. It's just my imagination, right? Ack! I can't go through here either. Nope, can't go through here. Alright. Uh, hello there. Did I adopt a stray? Oh, nope, never mind. I thought someone was following me. But I guess it was just my imagination. Wow! But the path keeps going, doesn't it? There's no one here and I can't go anywhere. Why am I trapped in this bizarre place? I've had enough. Mother, help me. She's dead. A bat? I've never seen one in real life before. What's the matter? Are you saying to come with you? Ah, wait. I can't go that way. Wait, huh? I guess I can now? I'll just have to go, I suppose. Please, hold on. Again. Alright. I've never seen this huge castle before. And I've certainly never heard about it either. The bat went in, so I couldn't help but follow, but... Excuse me, is anyone here? It's run down, but there is still lighting. I'm sure someone must be live here. Did I just say must be live here? Someone must live here, oh my god. Uh, sleeping is important, kids. Hello? No doubt about it. I think someone's watching. Which means there is someone here, isn't there? Um, I just want to know where I am. The girl decided to search for the one watching her. The statue is falling apart, so you can't really tell what it used to be. What about this one? Okay. It feels like you'll be sucked in if you stare too long. You tried dropping a pebble in it. A tr uh, you tried dropping a pebble in, but you couldn't hear it hit the ground. But there are mirrors in the eyes of this pumpkin. Hmm? Something's written on this sign. Slap me. Uh, slap you say? Got slapped, got praised. Get pet. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> what am I even doing? <laughs> Slap me. What should I do? Get praised. What a wonderful figure. Your complexion is top notch too. What am I even doing? Alright, slap it. Get slapped. Alright, you asked for it. Yeah. Wow, I actually did something. I... I... Oh. What's the meaning of this? Well, um... I'll take it there's someone through there. A gravestone. There probably isn't anything buried underneath. The candle flame dances strangely. The holes in the stairs make it difficult to proceed. Peering into the hole, you can't tell how deep it is. It looks like it leads underground. Pardon me. Is anyone there? Oh, okay. But really, thinking about it, just who was that earlier? If I hadn't gotten away, I surely would have ended up like those two corpses. I wonder, was there some connection between that person and father? Or else, is he... Let's not think about that. I'm focusing too much on negative things. Mouse. Yeek. 
Sheesh, it's just a mouse. Uh, what's it doing on... What, what, what is going on here? Let's keep moving. I'm sure there's someone here. This place. Is this a chapel? Why is there a chapel underground? I don't see anyone around. But I'll at least take the chance to sit in... To sit in the pew and rest a little. What is this vocabulary? Sure enough. Was that person somehow connected to father? Those two were killed. Did that also have to do with father? But then, maybe father was just called there for some reason or another. Maybe to be killed himself. No, that can't be it. He just wanted to take a late night stroll, I'm sure. What's going to happen to me? No one's here. At this rate, I'll... Hmm? Now what's that? It... It's a, a coffin? What is this doing here? Now that I look at it... This looks just like the place from that movie. No, but that can't be right. Should I open it? Wait, what am I thinking? Just use common sense. The only thing you'd expect to find in here is... Why would I ever want to open this? Seriously now. What does that say about me as a person? <laughs> but... All told, there's no one here. It seems I'm at a dead end. If I'm just going to die clueless and alone in this bizarre place, then... Then aren't I at least allowed to dream about there being a vampire sleeping in here? So there, yeah. There really was someone inside. He's breathing. It's not a corpse. And these teeth. Yeah, and these teeth. Sharp like fangs. The, well, that's kind of what teeth are. Could this be a real vampire? Still, what a pretty face. For some reason, looking at this person's face really calms me down. Almost like I've met them somewhere. Ah. I'm feeling exhausted. I don't know if you're a vampire or not, but... Please let me rest a little. Father. Mother.
I was not expecting it to have an opening. I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> that, that caught me off guard. I'm gonna be real. Mm. So is that the prologue? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess that was a prologue. I right. I fell asleep. Where is this? Why am I in this pitch dark place? And why am I sitting in this comfy chair? That opening slap though, that, that was good. That was a good opening. Those eyes on me again. Who are you? You've been watching me, right? And here I was thinking, nah, that can't be right. They really did notice, huh? Where are you? What do you intend to do with me? What am I gonna do? Oh, nothing, really. But if you wanna meet me, you're gonna have to leave that chair. So stand up first. I suppose I should follow along for now. Um, now what? Okay, now face left for me. Now go, go, go. Straight towards the wall. Understood. I'm at the wall. Now take a walk along that wall. Once you come across a mirror, you should come to a stop there. Alright, understood. The girl did as the mysterious voice instructed, walking along the wall in search of a mirror. Hey, hey, don't get too far from the wall. Sorry. Wait, what if I go backwards, though? Oh, wait, I thought I, w I thought I was supposed to go down, but I- Damn it. Is this the mirror you were talking about? It's right behind the chair I was sitting in earlier. Yeah! Huh? <laughs> Where are you looking? I'm right here in front of you. What does that mean? It means this. Ah, your body. Nice to meet you, Missy. My name is... Uh... Jishie, I'm guessing. I'm an unstop... Uh, I'm an unstable entity. So I can only live within mirrors. Jishia. An unstable entity existing within mirrors. Charm. Ears. Wait, ears? <laughs> ears are five star? Those are some five star ears. And mystery. Though... Huh. You don't seem too surprised. Well, a lot of strange things have happened up up to and including my arrival here. Maybe it's just made me oddly calm. Hmm, is that it? Yeah, guess that tracks. I thought I might surprise you more. Get to see you scared. Oh well, that's too bad. But I wonder if hearing this might freak you uh might freak out even you. Hearing what? Hehehe. <laughs> you wanna know? The lord of this castle. Why, he's a terrifying vampire. Vampire? Yes, a vampire. He sealed you alive in this room, so he can suck the blood from your veins. Isn't that scary? Feel free to cry, okay? He's gonna... <laughs> She's going to be so excited. So you're awake. <laughs> Human, welcome to my castle. I'm the lord of this castle. Lord Arn, the vampire. Oh no, he's here. He's going to suck your blood. Really? 
Are you really a vampire? Yes, I am indeed a vampire. I shall prove it to you now, human. How exactly? Stand aside. Okay. Oh. Vampires don't appear in mirrors. Ah. So you know... Wait, so I, you at least possess that meager knowledge. Well, of course. Now that you understand that I am a true vampire, human, offer your blood to me. What is it? Have you some final words? Duh. Duh. Do as you please, absolutely, yes, 100% suck my blood. <laughs> ah. You're the real deal, aren't you? Her vampire. Uh, hey, hold on. Then by all means, go for the jugular. Wait, human, calm yourself. <laughs> Come on! Uh, now, see here. Do it! What is with her? <laughs> Oi, Jisye. This isn't what we discussed. Did I not tell you to spook her a little and get her to run home? This is fun though, so isn't it fine? <laughs> no, it isn't fine. Come on, I'm ready, let's go! I apologize for my unsightly be <laughs> I apologize for my unsightly behavior earlier. I got so caught up in the moment, meeting the object of my aspirations. To make one such as I recoil in horror, that is no small feat, human. <laughs> that was funny? Yeah, it was. Yes, I'm doing some self-reflection. Uh... What? Her vampire. What does her mean? What the fuck? Did you save me? It was not I. Jisya merely found you when you wandered into this world. Uh, is it often that humans come to this world? So I thought it'd be interesting. This world? What do you mean by that? Honestly, I would respond the same because I'm going. To, if I'm going to die anyway, I want want to die living out of my curiosity. Is that really the first thing you have to say when you walk into the damn street? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, you see... Wait, Zizia. If you're going to be a part of this conversation, come to the hand mirror. Roger that. Yoo-hoo. So you can move between mirrors? <laughs> this is no ordinary mirror, I'll have you know. Normally... As one who does not appear in mirrors, I'm unable to perceive Jisya. I'm unsure why, but it seems that's how it is. And what I see is the world reflected by mirrors. Which means I can't see vampires. However, this mirror, along with the one you first saw, allows us to perceive each other and converse. I'm not sure I understand, but... So it's a wondrous mirror. I got it. Indeed, knowing that much would suffice. Come to think of it, your clothes actually don't reflect either. You often see that in movies, but honestly, I thought clothes would show up. Any possessions of mine do not reflect, so long as they're touching my body. Neither the contents of my pockets, nor items in the bag I'm wearing will appear either. How deeply mysterious. Now then, we've gotten a bit off topic. Zisia, continue. My survival skills are nothing. I wouldn't expect to make it out alive, so I'd make the most of it. And, uh... And if I somehow survive, I got luck. I guess, yeah. 
gotcha. Uh, so about this world. Or, so, wait. So about this world, right? We'll start with this town. It's name Lugenberg. It's located in another world. It, a bit misaligned from the world you live in. This is a place for those like us, the people who are not people. So be more... What the fuck does this mean? What, what is this language? English, please. So be more... So, well, whatever the fuck that says. It's a town for, of non-humans. Lugenberg? The town of non-humans? Why did I end up in such a place? I know not. However, it is not as uncommon as you may think. You know what being spirited away means, right? Yes, there's a movie about that. You mean when someone goes missing under mysterious circumstances? Yep, exactly, Missy. You got spirited away yourself. Sometimes the boundary between your world and ours becomes a little fuzzy. You just happen to you just happened to stumble into it. Congrats! Of course, there are usually conditions that cause the border to weaken. But it seems this time was different. Well, not that it really matters. Sheesh. Such a troublesome human. Uh, Jishia honestly reminds me of Demen Dementia? I don't know who that is. It's not like I wanted to come here. Incidentally, humans are pretty valuable food are a pretty valuable valuable food resource here. Huh? Uh if you'd have been left out to dry, you would have been devoured for sure. Thank you so much for saving me. Oh, but speaking of food, her vampire. You also suck humans' blood, right? But earlier you declined sucking my blood? Do I look like I taste that bad? Well, about that. Arn, uh, Arn, uh, Arn works as a detective here, you see. And he takes blood as payment for his work. In fact, that's the only blood he'll drink. He's a real oddball of a vampire. He used to be a sight to behold once, though. He speaks the truth, human. It's from Super Paper Mario? Uh oh, I should look that up. I haven't played any of the Paper Mario games. A detective. I refuse. I didn't even say anything yet. I didn't need to hear it. You were thinking of asking for my services, weren't you? So you saw through me that easily. The mark of a true detective. <laughs> Are you mocking me, human? Mock you, her vampire? Unthinkable. Come on now, Arn. Why not at least listen to her story? Maybe it's Arne. Oh god. Yeah, right? So basically... Hold on. I didn't say I would listen. It's about my father. Stop, human. Aha, uh -huh, I see. So that's what you went through before you arrived here. I ended up hearing the story anyway. That's why... I'd like you to do an investigation into my father. Human, I can declare two possibilities regarding your father. He's either alive or he's dead. <laughs> Very straightforward. I could have gone to that. To that conclusion. Right. If he's dead, it's highly likely he's either unrelated to the one who attacked you, or their enemy. And if he's alive, they're likely one and the same or collaborators, as I thought. But I can't imagine that person was father. Father's health has been failing for a long time, I just can't imagine him doing those inhuman moves. Besides, I ran over immediately after I heard screaming. To think he could kill two people in such short 
short span of time. Hmm. It's a bit awkward to say after you've already told me this much, but... This truly is trite. Whatever that means. Go bother your human police or the like about those petty quarrels between humans. I refuse to take jobs that don't pique my interest. No way. Yeah? What's the problem? Come on, accept the job. Doesn't it sound kind of fun? Besides, don't you think somebody like her would have the tastiest blood? Wait, would I? Do you want to drink it? Stop bringing everything back to that, it's so annoying. Her <laughs> vampire. Even if you suck my blood or turn me into a vampire, I won't care. Don't you consider that a bonus, rather? Uh, of course not. You're drooling. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> as, a, as a vampire fanatic, I just want to experience having my blood sucked, that's all. She sounds so horny, but like in the like in a different kind of horny. It's like a kink that has just not been explored yet by humanity. Is there something wrong with her? <laughs> Come on, it's fine. And hey, I'm glad you is for free this time. Okay, accept the job, Arn. Arne. Mr. Zizia, thank you. Her vampire, please accept. The both of you pleading isn't going to change my mind. I bet this vampire can find my missing peanut butter sandwich easily with his skills. Oh yeah, definitely. Hmm. That pendant of yours. Huh? Human, where'd you get that? This is... A keepsake I received from my departed mother. Mother? No, surely I'm wrong. What's the matter? Hmm. I've become a bit... I've become a bit interested now. Really? Very well. But first, I must have you take a rest. Take a test. Not a rest. A test? Oh, it's nothing complicated. You mean that test? Wait, you mean that test, right? Ooh, how mean. Don't interrupt this with your comments, Tisha. Yeah, yeah. Here I have a red ball and two cups. Turn both cups over, human, and place the red ball in one of them. Uh, um, like this? Very good. And you acknowledge I touched nothing. Yes, you didn't lay a finger on anything, her vampire. Good. Now, human, let me ask you. Which cup contains the red ball? Huh? Hmm? Is that a difficult question? No, I didn't mean that. Then answer it. It's- it, I mean, it was put in the red- in the red cup, but... I feel like the answer is either the blue or neither. Then answer it. Okay, um, the red ball is... Not in either cup. I definitely put the ball in the red cup, but if I choose the red cup just for that reason, I don't know what the point of this test would be, which made me want to pick the blue cup, but her vampire, I suspect you anticipated that as well, so my answer is, it isn't in either cup. Mm-hmm. So you, so you suspect that I did something. How deeply distrustful of you. Then tell me, where is the ball? Well, I'm sure you've hidden it away somewhere. Hmm... You say I'm hiding the ball on my person? Unfortunately, the correct answer is... That... It doesn't exist anywhere. No way, the ball melted? 
we vampires can pretty manipulate but manipulate our own blood. Which is what that bowl was made from. So close yet so far, human. Your thought process could only get halfway. That's not fair. Didn't I answer that it wasn't in either one? That's only halfway to the right answer. If you'd considered the fact that I'm a vampire, you could have arrived at the truth. Since I failed your test, her vampire, that means you won't accept my request, will you? At least... At least let me keep the ball of your blood from the test as a souvenir. Yikes, that's a great... <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, that's a creepy thing to just casually ask. Hold on, human. I said nothing about you failing the test. Huh? <laughs> what we just conducted was something akin to a psychological test. A way of learning what kind of human you are. And I found myself a bit interested by the result. Me too, me too. It's not often you find a human who'd react to vampires like she does. Then... Give your thanks to that pendant of yours. The moment I found my interest piqued by it, your request was as good as accepted. Congrats! Mother, thank you so much. Now then, human, give me a name. Uh, name? The name of the client who seeks the services of the RNA Detective Agency. Oh. It's Lynn. Lynn Rhein... Uh, Lynn Rhinevice. I still need to get used to that. I'm requesting an investigation into what my father is doing. As a member of the Rhinevice family, I simply have to know. Very well. Lynn Rhinevis, the request shall be undertaken by the great Arne. I'll help out too, little little Linny. Her vampire, Mr. Gisia, thank you so much. Or thank you very much. Enough of this her vampire business. I take it you don't care for being denoted by your speeches either. Wait. I take it you don't care for being Denoted by your species either, Lynn Rhinevice, then Lord Arne. Arne just doesn't sound right. Maybe it, I, I I'm just gonna say Arne, but that also doesn't sound right. Neither sounds right. What the fuck? Yes, that will do just fine. God damn. Let me just, let me check the German pronunciation. Okay, well, I guess it is Arn. I had it right. I had it right the first time. God damn it, Lord Arn. Okay. Now let us get to it. Why is she so unhinged? And why can I see myself making the same comments? I did that. Sounds like uh, you need to get that sorted. <laughs> now let us get to it. I have some preparations to make, so wait there a moment. Understood. I'll leave this hand mirror here. This year, entertain the client. You got it. Um, Mr. Gisia? Just Gisia is fine. What's up? Then. Just Gisia. Yes, Linny? You know Lord Arn's a vampire. But what kind of species are you, Gisia? Just at a glance, you have some wolf-like ears. Are you a werewolf, maybe? Hehehe. <laughs> I'm just a boy who cried wolf. 
A boy who cried wolf. Like the liar from that fairy tale? Like Usopp? Yep, I'm a liar. Which means, maybe that's a lie too. What? I feel like you're dodging the question. Hehehe. <laughs> Enough about that though. Why do you like vampires so much, Lin? Uh... When mother died two years ago, I ran away from home out of shock. But afterwards, a bad person who knew I was a daughter of the Rheinweiss family kidnapped me. Ah, let me guess. And then a vampire saved you? Yes! A would-be vampire! Would-be? Well, that's what they told me instead of their name. Interesting. But somehow, I can't even remember what they looked or sounded like. Maybe I was just imagining things. But ever since then, I became a vampire fanatic. I see, I see. Ah, oh, looks like Arn's back. Um. Uh. You look a little different. How cute! What's the matter? Are you lost? Do you want to play with me? Come on, over here. You can sit on my lap, okay? Cripes. Cease this, Lin Rhinevice. It's me, Arn. Why do you know my name? Oh, did Lord Arn tell you? Huh? Arn? Yes, the Arn who accepted your request. Is this a fucking... Is it, I, I feel like this is just a Detective Conan reference. Which, if it is, uh, devs, you're great. I am the great Arn Neil. Fuck, how do you say that again? Fuck. Um. I need, I need to re. re Nine Toot. I'm the great Arn Nine Toot. Arn Nine Toot. A former heinous vampire private detective. With no hide at all. What? Uh, ever since Twilight came out, I've been into vampires and werewolves, but more into vampires on a subconscious level. I've still- I've never seen Twilight. I don't think I really care to see it. <laughs> Is Shrep a reference? Uh... It's, it's straight up a reference. If it's not, I would be very surprised. Yeah. Like, this has to be a Detective Conan reference. Like, going from an adult to a child? A detective? Come on. Uh, so let's see if I have this right. Arnie, I mean, Lord Arn, that adult appearance you had earlier was your original form. But since you only have one of your original nine hearts now, you look like this. How the fuck did you lose all of them? <laughs> And after you drink blood, you can temper. Oh, okay. And after you drink blood, you can temporarily regain your adult appearance. Is that it? Precisely, precisely, Len Rhyme Vice. With only one remaining heart, my power too is one ninth of what it once was. Even so, I have far greater intelligence than the likes of any human. So, I have little other choice but to do detective work. Also, do not casually attempt to call me Arnie. <laughs> I think Arnie suits you better, though. Uh um, no, it's nothing. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> I love it. Mm hmm. Hold on a second. What? Lord Arn, you said nine. What was it again? Nine tooth, right? Yes, I did. Nine tooth. Nine hearts. 
Is that what 9 tooth literally means? I think it is, right? That place, just like the chapel from that movie, with so many unbelievable things happening, it's been hard for me to think straight, but... Nine tooth. Are you that nine tooth? What do you mean that nine tooth? The heinous vampire who was born by the sacrifice of the nine vampire king's hearts. The one whose mere walking spreads disease. Who struck down countless vampire hunters. Evilly, bloodly, fantastically nine tooth. You're that nine tooth? Putting aside that puzzling bit at the end, uh, I am, more or less. And you're quite knowledgeable for how long it was. That's because I've studied all sort of- That's because I've studied all sort- all sorts of literatures- All sort of literature and story. I hate the word literature. Mother, father, at least the vampire lord nine tooth is before me. At last. Oh my god, I'm- can't see the real one yes the real one one need what I have to lie that's true there'd be no point so if you're nine to Lord Arn is the fact is the fact you only have one of your hearts now because of your fight with the ultimate vampire hunter <laughs> So you even know about that part. Right, we're done here. Enough talking about me. Oh, come on. Please tell me more. Is it true you hate lemons? I said we're done here. Do you want me to withdraw your request? That would be a problem for me. Sheesh. At any rate, Lynn Rhymeweiss. Last night, I wasn't sleeping well. And drank quite a lot of blood before bed. Wow, so you drink blood like you would warm milk. Oh wait, is that why you were in your adult form when I found you? Yes, exactly. However, drinking so much exhausted my stock of blood. It's no hindrance to stay in this form necessarily, but it could be a problem in the crisis. Aha, uh -huh. so you're asking for an advance payment of the blood for my request. In other words, you want to suck my blood right away. That's fine, of course. Ah, you catch on quick, Lynn Rhymeweiss. Before I begin this investigation, I shall take you I shall take from you the fee. Give me your blood. G gladly I have to admit that energy of yours makes me feel a bit gross. Don't be mean. Look, don't they say that you should experience everything once? Come on, say something. <laughs> this girl. If you've never seen Twilight, I don't think you'll like it. Unless you're into cringy red flag romance with shirtless guys. I mean, that sounds like a, an amazing train wreck. But <laughs> besides that, not really. <laughs> this should be fun. What's the matter, Lynn Rhymeweiss? You seem quite do you, s you seem quite dour, whatever the fuck that means. You tricked me. This is fraudulent. What about it is fraudulent? I thought you would suck my blood directly. That's... What's this drawing blood business? Since when do vampires draw blood? It's more efficient to preserve blood. And be able to carry it around, yes? I mean, I guess, but my dreams... My maidenly dreams... Enough about that nonsense. Now... Look... This is the real Lud... This is the real Lugenberg. Lynn Rhymeweiss. You have been recognized as my guest, and a member of this town. Had you not been, the residents would not show themselves to you. 
This is the real Lugenberg. The town of non humans. Though, even so, you may still be eaten if you let your guard down. Wait, eaten? Let's leave town quickly. Don't respond if anyone talks to you, understood? Right. No, that's not the right way. No, I want to talk to this bitch. Pop, 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 pop. Ignore her. Ignore her. It'll only be trouble if you reply. Okay. Uh, porn? Hey, Arn. Gonna send a letter, goat? I will not. Uh, oh. Goat. Aw, how cute. Still eats humans, though. Let's keep moving. No, it's not the right way. I want to talk to them. Oh, a kappa. I'll give you a cucumber. Kawaii teru. Don't accept that if you value your, your rear end. Eek. Damn, kappas eat ass. Doppelganger. Don't look at it or you're dead. Don't worry about the explanation. Let's just hurry out of there. Let's just hurry out of here. We're here. This is my house. Right, the mansion. So first, I need to invite you into the house from the back garden, right? Indeed. As vampires cannot enter a place without the permission of a resident. As for why we're entering from the back... So you can infiltrate the house unnoticed, unnoticed, and you invest and investigate Father's room. Precisely, I don't care to reveal myself to humans. Being that it's what you hope for, I'll act under the assumption your father is alive. But don't whine at me if he's dead. Got it? He'll be okay. I'm sure of it. Now, when you return to the mansion, do your best to divert people's attention. I'd like to have the most freedom possible. Are you up to it? Oh, spoiled mistress? I'll do what I can. Oh wait, I just realized. It's already day. But you're walking around outside. That truly is a late realization. Well, I understand what you're getting at. It's true, vampires are weak to sunlight. Yeah, because I have one ninth of my power, I run one ninth of my power. Ironically, the effects of sunlight, the effect of sunlight, are also reduced to one ninth. That means it still has some effect, right? Indeed, I can't bear for long periods. Even now, my skin's itching a bit. So it's like being susceptible to sunburns. Don't equate it with that. We're here. Now then, Lynn Rhymevice, go inside and invite me in. Um, but this gate is usually locked. That's of no concern. Stand aside. It's opened. What did you do? I inserted my blood into the keyhole to create a duplicate key. That's amazing! So you really were a vampire? What do you mean by that? Oh, I mean, I believed all along, of course. Look me in the eye and say that. Uh, at any rate, hurry up and invite me in. Okay. Uh, welcome. Please come in. Right. Ah, if it isn't Mistress Lin. Kai. Where were you? We were out searching for you all night. Um... Go now before he gets suspicious. Right. 
Lucky that the guard dogs won't bark at you or me or the master, but still. It's no good to sneak in through here, mistress. I'm sorry. I'm sure I worried you all. You used to sneak... Wait. You used to sneak in this way all the time whenever you were out past court. Out past curfew. Kind of brings me back. Now come on and show yourself to everybody with a smile. Yes. From the behavior of that servant, it seems likely her father is alive. What a disappointment. Oh well, I suppose I'll go. Info. Garden dogs added the notes. <laughs> ah, damn. The father is alive? What a... What a disappointment. Hmm. <laughs> Some well-disciplined dogs we have here. I have no doubt you could indeed drive out any humans not wanted on these premises. However... Be gone. A vampire won't be chased off by mere dogs. But it, damn, this music is so good though. Holy shit. Juice here. Yes. If there's a mirror in this room, go check if there are any humans. Gotcha. No dice. There's people around. I see. Then never mind coming this way. Damn, this music is bopping though, holy shit. I hear humans talking inside, better not enter this way. Looks like I have to go up then. DJ, go check for me. I already handled it. There's guest rooms or something on the second floor with nobody inside. There appears to be scaffolding as well. Wait, there appears to be scaffolding as well. We'll go in that way then. Huh? Can you get up there? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that I can transform into a bat? <laughs> Click the icon in the top left or press the V key to transform our name arm into a bat. Click it again or press the V key again and he'll return to normal. I mean... Transforming consu consumes lots of power, right? I have vials of Lin. I have vials of Lin Rhinebice's blood on me, so it's no issue. Guess you should be good then. Indeed. Now then. Ah, quite delicious. It has a distinct flavor, like a good meal, as expected of a noble lady. The way you get bit, the way you get bigger when you drink blood, it kind of reminds me of dried seaweed. Don't associate me with that. It's also, wait, also he was wearing different clothes, right? So, what what happened to his last clothes? Like, did they did those change with him? <laughs> now let us be off. It's like a Hulk situation. The, those like, those purple shorts just appear from somewhere who, who knows where they just grow out of him let's roll oh okay i guess my controller doesn't have a v key guest room guest room waiting room hey arn this isn't the room i told you about Hmm, is that right? Those other two doors are the guest room. Hmm, of course, I knew that. I mean, I did. Eh? <laughs> okay. There's no ground here, so I can't transform back. Alright, smart. Ah, a successful infiltration. According to Lynn Reinweiss, her father's room is in the center of the third floor. Provided she summons him out, I should be able to enter without issue. Hey, Zisie, 
There was a human out there. I mean, there's no mirrors out there. How was I supposed to know? Why does that human have to be here of all places? I'm left no choice. I'll transform again to get past. Ooh, what will be this time? Missed, of course. If I disperse my body as thinly as possible, that human shouldn't even notice me. But as I recall, you can't be missed for a very for very long these days, can you? Five seconds. Dang, that's nothing. What do you expect? It also limits the speed I can move at, but it should be sufficient to evade that human. Normally, I could pass through anything, but I don't want to reform inside a wall or door. Instead, I'll boldly pass through. I'll boldly pass right in front of him. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is this? No. Click the icon in the top left or press the V key to turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five seconds after transforming, he'll revert back. Try to get past the guard wall in this form. Master, Mistress Lin has returned to us. I do believe she wishes she doth be wishing to see you. Hmm. Should I fall back and wait? I hear footsteps coming upstairs. Very well. I'll handle it with Miss again. Once they're far enough away, I'll enter her father's room. They're gone. Well, infiltrating any place is child's play for me, naturally. Perfect. At any rate, sure enough, her father is alive. How boring. <laughs> Great detective. Wishing for the clients to be dead. Or the thingies to be dead, I don't know. The sub suspects, I guess. Hmm? The door is locked. Not that it means anything at all. That'll do it. I must admit, then Ryan Vice isn't putting in much work here now, is she? Well, I was very insistent on her, gathering as many people as possible. I get the feeling it's just you being too hasty to infiltrate on. I mean, you barely waited at all. Why should I have to wait? Gotta say, I like that about you, Arn. Back to the matter at hand. What a dreary room this is. This hardly strikes me as the room this mansion's owner should have. The most impatient detective, yeah. Well, no matter. I'll investigate this room before her father return. Hmm? What's up? For a moment, I had the sensation as if my heart was going to be tugged at was being tugged at. What the heck? That sounds scary. Perhaps drinking human blood again after so long has returned some vitality in to my heart? You really gonna leave it at that when it's your heart we're talking about? I doubt, mer I doubt merrily mewling it over would give me an answer. And besides, I have matters to attend to. Sure do. Let's knock those out. A uh, bone, I believe it was. Perhaps if I installed one of these in my castle, I would receive more work. Oh yeah. Nothing of particular interest here. Nothing of particular interest here. It's locked, but... 
None of this looks worth the trouble of making a key to open it. It's locked, but none of this looks... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically, books from a variety of fields. I'm not sure what to make of them myself. A mirror, placed here, though it's meaningless. Yep. My beloved wife... Yeah, my beloved wife, Rose. Hmm? Lynn Reimweiss's mother. So this is the woman she received her pendant from. What's the deal with that pendant, anyway? There was once someone who had the very same pendant, you see. But from the sound of things, they're pretty different people, huh? Besides, maybe it's not exactly that rare. Could have been mass-produced, you know? Perhaps, but... Hmm. Granted, even supposing she did receive it from someone I knew, there's no way to confirm with someone who's already dead. So, no point thinking about it, I suppose. No point, hey? <laughs> What's with that knowing laugh? It's nothing. Come on, keep investigating this room. Right, I'll do that. Research on black magic. Now, isn't this something interesting? I feel like that pen is one of his hearts? It might be, but I don't know. We haven't been told anything about it. We don't even know where it's from. Black magic? Reminds... Remind me, is that something you should be casually leaving out for people to see? No, obviously not. Indeed, there were more vampire hunters who made use of that. Who made use of black magic. But I can't conceive of an ordinary noble taking it up as a hobby. Then what's the deal, huh? I, su I suspect there's something he desperately wants to do with black magic. He wants to revive his wife. Now, what could that be? He's trying to revive um, her mother, Rose. Arms, legs, yeah, chest, torso. Hmm? What's this note about? Yep, yep. He is trying to pull a full metal alchemist. A vent. I bet little Arn could s I bet little Arn could squeeze through here. <laughs> Unfortunately, I doubt I could at present. Hmm? You don't sound at all disappointed. Obviously not. Who would gleefully crawl into such a place? Turn into a bat or something. The Full Metal Alchemist never works? I mean, yeah, that's literally what the show tries to tell you <laughs> right at the beginning. <laughs> hmm. While well, something does feel suspect. No real leads? Indeed. But I'm finding it likely that her father is going out at night. Was not mere coincidence. That's what my vampiric sense are telling me. Hmm. So what are you gonna do? The quickest way The quickest way would be to investigate when he next goes out at night. And if we're to take that hack, we need only wait at the castle until then. And who's gonna watch you in the meantime? Who else but you? Yep, sure enough. But what if Link gets attacked again while you're not around? Oh god. I got something stuck in my throat. Uh, what should I care? She didn't request escort services. Yeesh, so sloppy. For now, we should inform Lynn Rhymeweiss. Tishia, have you grasped this mansion's mirror layout? Yep, we're all good. But it doesn't look like Linny's returned to her room yet. I see. Perhaps I'll go kill time outside. If I leave out the door, I may encounter a human, so let's take the window. Okay, it doesn't even say anything. Conveniently, this window's unlocked.
Um, is there anything that was needed on this? I doubt it. Um, hold on. Before I continue, I'm gonna go make tea, so I'll be right back. I'm back, I'm back in black, I hit the sack, I've been too long, I'm glad to be back.
<clears throat> okay, made some tea. I'm ready to go. Alright. Let's go. Okay. Did you wish to have a night on the town, perhaps? How deeply disappointing. To this now of all times, when there are dangerous people on loose. Just last night, a man was found murdered. Please recognize that you are to be the next head of the Rheinweiss family. What kind of tea? Uh, I honestly don't know. Because the thing is, uh, I actually, that that tea, my mom in Italy put it in my my case. Uh, and it says it's like, it's a traditional British tea, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I think it's just like some Italian brand that claims to be British tea. And it doesn't say like what kind of tea it is. So I don't really know. <laughs> it doesn't really go beyond that. Uh, and I'm, I almost finished it because I got so sick that I've been drinking like 10 cups a day, so. Yeah. Uh, there was 50 tea bags in there and I already finished most of them, so yeah. I, I need to do shopping soon. Got some lemon ginger tea I'm sipping on. Nice. Please recognize that you are to be the next head of the Rheinweiss family. Have I not told you this again and again? I'm sorry. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> really, mistress, give us a break. You and Gord you got Gordon so mad that he started yelling at me. Burned. A diligent looking security guard. Guarding wow, the <laughs> the one thing he's supposed to do he's not able to do, Jesus Christ. Motivation and okay, well, he's not a he's like the worst guard in the world, Jesus Christ. Burned, I apologize for causing you trouble too. That is an awful name to pronounce, like burned. What is he actually guarding? I think he's the dude that, like, almost saw um, fuck was his name. Arn, when he walked into the door, well, when, when he walked out of the door and then walked back in, and he didn't see him, so yeah, I guess he's blind. Um, but more importantly, his father. Elisa is calling for him now, but never mind that. Uh, this seems like it's gonna last a while, so I'll be going back to guard duty. Uh, yeah. Guess it was him. Honestly, mistress, you. Father, thank goodness you're all right. Uh, I'll go get a chair for you. No, I don't need one. I'll be sitting in my room shortly. Well, I'll be going back to my room shortly. Fucking hell, I can't read. Yes, sir, sir. Um, father? Just what are you doing? I'm sorry. Rose, she was crying with worry over you. Father, mother is... QUIET! I said that way too loudly. And if it's my own daughter, I can't stand for anyone making my dearest wife sad. Father. <clears throat> Father. M Master, please... Doth not overstimulate yourself. I hate, I hate the way she speaks. Lynn, it's nearly time. Very soon, you two can meet Rose. Huh? The three of us will live together again. I've kept you waiting too long. Father, what in the world are you talking about? Just like back then, back when we were happy. Master, perhaps you should return to your room. He's trying to pull an Edward Elric. Mistress, that's enough. Wait, 
Mistress, that's enough talking with the master as well, yes? Alright. Uh, Rose. Rose. With that, at least I just surpassed yesterday's tripping record. Just how far might she push the envelope? <laughs> May I return to my room as well? I'm a little tired. I'm not done talking with you, miss. Well, I suppose... Return to your room for today. But you are forbidden from going out for the time being. Yes, I understand. I suppose that all told... Wait. I suppose that all told, you are at that age where you'd like to have fun all night. But you worried all... But you worried us all so much. I'm sorry. Next time, be sure to tell us when you'll be partying around town. And you'll give me permission? We will not. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the master has you feeling uneasy, mistress. However, please do not turn to despair. Yes, I apologize. Let's not go outside for now. For now, let's go back to my room. No, I don't wanna... Uh, yeah, Karen. Oh god, wait, these two hate each other, hold up. Deanna, do you think my cautions earlier brought me closer to old Coot? Hmm, she might already be calling you that. What? But Mistress Lynn does still need someone to tell her things like that. I think you have an essential role in helping her in helping her as she tries her hardest. I suppose so. Oh, the lecture's over already? What are you two talking about? Oh, Gordon is worried whether Mistress Lynn hates him. Huh? You're worried about that? It's okay, Gordon. Burnt, do you mean it? I already did. I think she over <laughs> I think she already despised you. Me? I definitely called you an old coot under my breath. It's bad enough that the master's putting not just the mistress, but the whole bench in a sour mood. <laughs> so if you're lecturing on top of that, you're not just old coot to her, you've graduated to damn old coot. Bird. <laughs> That's amazing. Ah, uh, yikes. In a good way. Yeah, in a good way. Well, I've got guard work to do, so, uh... You hold it right there, Burn. <laughs> oh, I love that. Right now, I want to go back to my room. Fine, bitch. I already got chewed out ever since mother passed away to this very day. I've done my best to become a worthy heir to the Rheinweiss family, but maybe I just can't do it after all. Back to square one. But father seems to be safe, so that's a relief at least. But in that case, was he really working together with that person? Even if he was... Wait, even if he was, there has to be some kind of reason. Father would never ask the help of a killer. It's inconceivable. Oh yeah, there is a reason. Uh, he's... He's uh, trying to become a worthy alchemist, let's say that. I wonder what he meant by, I can meet mother soon. And Gordon said a man was found dead, but I saw two bodies last night. I hope Lord Arn found something at least.
the window. A bat! You want to get inside? Lord Arn. Hmm? Seems the bl seems the blood just ran out. Lord Arn! Ah, 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 amazing! So sure enough, vampires can turn into bats. What other forms can you take? You usually hear dog or mist, but what's the truth? And what kind? Oh wait, and what kinds of other powers do you have? Oh wait, right. Good job on everything. Look, if you want to suck the blood from me, you. If you want to suck the blood from me, you know, directly, that's fine, okay? Calm down, you imbecile. <laughs> uh, uh, I got carried away again. But, you know, uh, just to deepen my knowledge. Experiencing something for real allows for a deeper understanding and all. Enough already. Sit down, you idiot. <laughs> I love this too. I know he's on the bed. <laughs> And she's on the floor. You can meet her soon, hmm? What could that mean? I wonder. My guy, you're a detective. Fucking, you haven't figured that out already? There are some guesses I could make from what I discovered in your father's room, but... Indeed, the best approach will be to catch your father in the act. So you think father will go out at night again? I believe it's very likely. Relax. I'll leave Tisia to observe your father. You need not be on the edge night after night. He always pushes the simple yet tedious stuff on me. Oh well. I'll give it my all for, Lin for Linny. Thank you, Tisia. I'm sure I can count on you. Yep, yep. For now, we'll catch this situation over the next week. In the meantime, you should lay low. And if anything comes up, call for Cecia. Just face a mirror and say my name, and I'll show up. Understood. Alright, I'll give this to you. A key? I created that. It's a duplicate... It's a duplicate key to your father's room. It could still be of use, so I think you should have it. Th thank you so much! <laughs> it came made from a vampire's blood. Wow. You know what? I'll take that back. No! I'll treasure it forever! Uh, I mean, uh, strictly as a collector's item. A key made from a vampire's blood. That must be really rare, right? <sighs> Very well. Do with it what you will. <laughs> I, I, already, I can already see it ending really badly. And with that, I'll return to my castle. Right, thank you very much. I see why they didn't fire the security guard now. <laughs> well, I think I'll rest for a bit. I'm kind of tired. Damn old coot. Everything feels so floaty. Like my body's become something different. Feels like I'm floating in water, yet weights are attached to my limbs. A dream? I must be dreaming right now. Rose. Rose. I'm sure it'll be okay, Rose. It's father and... Oh my, please don't look so sad. It doesn't suit you, honey. Rose. Mother. In her childhood, she caught an unknown illness and had to battle against it ever since. It's not common for women to inherit the family business, but... Mother was an, was an only daughter of the Rheinweiss family. So she tried to do, uh, so she tried to do so. But with her health, 
she was unable to manage. And so father was adopted as a son-in-law to support the family and mother said. It was purely a political marriage for the family's sake, without any romance having taken place. For nobility, that's nothing out of the ordinary, even so. When I first met you, I thought, what a scary looking person. After all, you never smile. But I realized very quickly, that was a misunderstanding. Because the first words you said to me were, You're pushing yourself, aren't you? Remember? I simply said what I saw evident. That day I first met you, I really was in poor health. But I pretended to be just fine, so as not to worry anyone. I thought I was doing a pretty good job at hiding it. After all, no one but you noticed, did they? In that moment, I fell in love with you. And since we were already set to be married, I thought, alright. So did I. So did I, Rose. That concern for, for everyone around you. That determination to not be set back by illness. Before I knew it, I'd fallen in love. Hee 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 hee. So it's mutual then. What a thing to say after all this time. Well, I had to make sure. It'd be lonely if I were just crushing on you to the very end, right? Don't tell me the end, dear. Please, don't say such things. Mother! Oh, my cute little Lin. So you came to see me off. See you off? No, don't say that. Rose, Lynn still needs a mother. And I still need you. Hee hee hee. It makes me happy to hear that. But I'm well, I'm well aware I can't live for much longer. So, come here my dear Lynn. I don't want this mother. Lynn, you know that pendant I gave you? It's a treasure of mine. I received from your mother's mother, your grandmother. I'm told that if you're ever troubled, it'll save you. So don't lose it, okay? Oh, I think it might be like... A, like that pendant might be like a gateway to the other world. To Lugenberg. Which is why she was she went to like the other world when she was about to get her shit kicked in. In that case, please let it save my mother now. Don't go, mom. Lynn, unlike me, you've grown up healthy and strong. I want your heart to grow strong too. And then, like me, Live the life only you can. Painful thing may await you in the future. But I hope you'll face them ahead. You'll face them head on and never flee. Do that and I'm sure everything will be alright. What are you talking about, mother? You'll understand when the time comes. Rose. Honey, please take care of Lynn. My treasure, Lynn. Now has my other treasure. That pendant. That makes her an amazing treasure indeed. Quite the treasure chest. My my treasures are you and Lynn. I don't want to lose either one. Oh, don't be selfish. I wanted to depart. I wanted to depart surrounded by smiles. So why are both of you crying? If you look at me like that, I, I'll, I, I wanted to live, to live and, huh? This isn't right. This shouldn't be, this has to be more clean and elegant. Rose, live, you have to live. Mother, please, I don't want you to die. I'm sorry, both of you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry.
Rose. Rose. Mother. Mother. The fuck is going on outside? Jesus fucking Christ. The day mother died, those last words of I wanted to live, like Nika Robin, they tied father down. But I'm sure father can overcome it. He'll be his kind self again someday. So? What the fuck is going on? Huh? What was I... It seems I slept a lot longer than I thought. Hey, Stick Bill, how you doing? I think I was dreaming about Mother? Mother. If I really could meet her again. I'm sure I'd want to, too. But I know that's not possible. Of course I know that, right? But then, since the day Mother died, maybe, just like Father, I'm still unable to move on. Whoa, the, the phone. My heart nearly leapt out of my chest. Who's calling at this hour? An internal call? It's from, it's from father's room. It's almost midnight. What could he possibly want? Uh, well, remember that peace guy? I'm him. Uh, peace guy? Uh... Peace guy, uh, well, peace guy, um, uh, I'll remember, uh, just, uh, okay, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I have no idea, I'm sorry. Okay, um, anyway. Hello, it's Lynn. Lynn, rejoice. At last, you can meet Rose again. Father, what are you talking about? Go to my room now. Right now. Father? Father? Does Beast Leader ring a bell? I don't remember names. <laughs> Peace Leader, uh... He hung up. What could this be about? I suppose I'll go to see him. I should probably let Lord Arn know too. Uh, this here. Yep, it's me, this here. What's got you calling at this hour? I just got summoned by father, so I'm going to see him now. Oh, you okay on your own? It'll be alright. He's my father, after all. Hmm. That doesn't sound like an answer to me. Could you tell Lord Arn, too, just in case? Gotcha. Take care now. Yes, thank you so much. Just remember I used to watch your streams? Oh, nice. Thank you. Well, I'll try, I'll try to remember you from now on. Okay, let's go. Uh, this is quite a shift in music. Also, what, what, wait, whoa, whoa, what? Oh! Oh my god. Her dress, I thought it was like a tray of like muffins or something. <laughs> uh, really, this is I got that phone call. I would leave the house, not go to his room because that means something, something's really off. But I would lie to him and tell him I'm on my way to his room. I yeah, I guess. There's nothing for me here. Damn. Yeah. 
What could that sound have been? I, I'm curious about it, but Father's business seemed to be uh, seemed to be urgent. I should go to his room first. There's nothing for me here. Fuck. What if I go? No point in going back. Shh. Fine, he's tall. Speaking of muffins, I just ate two blueberry muffins. Nice. There's nothing for me here, of course. Oh, I thought she would say no point in going back. This isn't the way. Looks like there's a wall there. What do you mean? <laughs> huh? The door is locked? Father, it's Lynn. Please open up. That's strange. Don't tell me something happened to Father. Right, the duplicate, the duplicate key Lord Arn gave me. It's unlocked. Father? Oh, there you are. Um, let's uh, wait, explore a little bit. Just you? No. No. Nothing to see. Father, thank goodness. So you're okay. What's all this about? It's so dark in here. Lynn, rejoice. The time has come at last. I intend to leave this mansion with Rose. Lynn, come with us. That's what Rose wants as well. Father, what are you talking about? Now let's go together, Lynn. As long as I'm with Rose and you, that's enough. Father? It's all right. I'll protect you both. You won't want. You won't want for anything. Oh, did you, did you just punch her in the face? Go for your soul with this one. Uh, all right, Master. What was this business you mentioned? Jeez, it's dark. Huh? Oh, god damn. Uh, ah. Uh. I'm glad for your report, TCF, but... It sounds as if Lynn Reinweiss has fainted and a servant is accompa accompanying her in her room. Hey, nothing I could do. Going off what people in the mansion are saying, seems she was passed out next to her dad's corpse. I'm one of those people that's super superstitious, so if my father was super unstable. Already somehow I found my mother who's... Or already somehow found my mother who's dead. I would leave the house just in case something's it's some supernatural. Uh, I I honestly my dad is already unstable, so I would probably just say yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> Told you. Oh, you're referring to that. Oh, I mean, damn, that was a cool that was a cool uh, thing though. She got hit in the head hard apparently. Hmm. What's a destroyed head or two? I mean, maybe to a nigh immortal vampire like you. So, this is the corpse of Lynn Reinweiss's father, who was thought to be murdered. Not bad spotting in the dark. I'm a vampire, remember? I see better in the dark, in fact. And the daytime's too blinding to see, well, yeah? I suspect I have it better than other vampires in that regard, but that's one ninth for ya. Be quiet, Jisya. Sorry, sorry. So then, this is her father, isn't it? Do the humans of this mansion recognize him by his clothing? Hmm? What do you mean? 
this is someone else entirely. What the? Sounds like quite the twist. Hm. The blood tells all. When did you see his blood, though? This is not the father's corpse. Wow. Um, murdered by a demon or whatever, her dad summoned. Wanna see something iconic that used to, uh, that used to be in your streams? Uh, sure. What is it? Ugh, disgusting. There's no mistaking it now. No mistaking what? Do you know how human blood is ca categorized into four types? A, B, C, D, and... A, B, C, and D, was it? It's A, B, 0, and A, B. Or O. Is it 0 or is it O? Because that's clearly a 0, but I'm not... I think people say it as O, right? A, B, O, and A, B. Right, that was my second guess. This, corp this corpse has type O blood. I could tell... I could tell that from smell alone, but tasting it eliminated, eliminated all doubt. Ooh, fancy stuff, vampire. So what about it? Uh, right, I'm starting to remember. Uh, yeah, no. When father is type O... Uh, wait. Mother... A... Yeah, that's, uh, like, actual. The combination of the parents' blood types determines what the child's blood type will be. Suppose the father is type O, and mother is type A, the child's blood type will also be either O or A. Uh-huh. So, whatever her mother's blood type may be, this corpse cannot be Lynn Reinweiss's father. Because I've drank Lynn Reinweiss's blood, and it was... A? Wait. Huh? It was- so it wasn't O. It was AB, right? It's type AB. I'm guessing AB. Lynn Reinweiss says it's type AB. If her father were, t were type O, it would make that blood type almost inconceivable. Oh, really? It's not totally impossible. I can't say it in def- I can't say it definitively. There are some special cases. So let's add on some more evidence. What? What the heck? I've thinly spread my blood around the surface of this room. Huh? Why'd you get small? Because I lost blood. What do you want from me? Huh? So, since drinking blood makes you big, letting it out makes you go back. But, what'd you scatter your blood for? Take a look at this. I was able to lift a clear fingerprint from this corpse. Oh, how handy. Now, to look through the many fingertips the many fingerprints left in this room hmm there are especially many s uh, there are especially many prints on those books on the desk uh check the youtube stream chat uh hmm what did it tell us and we forgot tell us what i i i have been too focused on the game Hmm. This is likely her real father's fingerprint. 
And this is the corpse's fingerprint. No need to even overlay them. No need to even overlay them to tell that they're different. Good stuff, Orn. Hmm. <laughs> Such a simple deception is easily exposed. So, should we go looking for fingerprints from the culprit now? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to lift any fingerprints from the corpses other than his own. Other than his own. At this stage, without someone else's fingerprints on the corpse, it's not particularly good evidence. Oh yeah? Too bad. I don't remember them saying what blood type she had. Oh yeah, no, I, uh, I'm pretty sure it was never mentioned. Uh, I just kind of had to guess that it was AB, because it couldn't be O, because this corpse is blood type O, and he was saying that it wasn't that she wasn't blood type O, so it, like, this couldn't be her father's corpse. Uh, and her mother's blood type is A, so it couldn't be blood type B. And so, like, I was, uh, I feel like it, it kind of had to be either A or AB. Most likely... I just saw something behind me, Jesus Christ. Most likely this corpse isn't someone from the mansion, but unlike an unlucky sup used to stall for time. All that mattered was making people think temporarily that he was dead. I would expect no important evidence here. I guess since you added that chat thingy on the screen, you won't be able to see symbols like... Huh? Wait, it works? Yeah, I guess, I guess so. I'm not even reading it off of that thing. I'm reading it off of, like, OBS chat. I would expect no important evidence here. It's all for time. So you're saying Lin's father is alive? Who knows? Shall we find out? Oh, you can retrieve it too. Obviously. It would be wasteful otherwise. And so you get big again. That's fun to watch. And the clothes change magically. I'm not here for your amusement. Now, about the about the blood splatter in this room, there's a spot that's clearly unusual. I wonder if there's something hidden there. It's here, I think. Sure enough, there's a switch behind this paper on the wall. How trite. Don't you hide way into the castle the same way, Arn? Don't associate that with this banality. What? A ladder? It's quite a long way down. Hmm. So, uh, remember that time that I recommended you to play Sonic? So, have you played it? Oh! No, Sonic 1. Oh uh, yeah, I do remember that. Um, I actually have I haven't played it. No. Um, I know that's like you can technically play that on like a million like emulators, but hmm. Yeah, I haven't played it, but um, maybe I might. Maybe I might. I can't promise anything, but maybe I might. Hmm. This would appear to be Lin Rhymebice's real father, who died falling from above. Oh boy, he's dead, all right. Poor, poor Linny. Well, 
even if her father is dead, I'm also really bad at platformers. <laughs> I think ores kind of kind of made me realize that. There's no harm in investigating what he was getting up to so secretively. Let's hurry and finish the... This again. What in the world is it? My heart... Kinda seems like it's resonating. You're implying one of my lost hearts was here? Heh, <laughs> how foolish. But if that were true, this case could be getting quite interesting. The disparate... The disparate hearts draw each other together. That's that kind of thing. In that case, I'd appreciate if they came to me. Never mind that. We have work to do. Let's quickly investigate this place. Do you somehow summon a doppelganger? Um, maybe. But I guess a doppelganger wouldn't have the same blood type. Would it? It appears he fell to his death. What an insipid way to die. For now, why don't we spice it up by imagining he was killed by an accomplice? Yeesh. Really just making it up as you go along, huh? It isn't relevant how he died right now, you see. Yeah, I guess that's fair. We're only investigating what he was doing. Uh, he died holding a key. So, if the room up above was locked, does that make this a locked room murder? I should hope so. Uh, okay, the arrow just, <laughs> just blocked my path, I guess. Hmm, I can't make heads nor tails of this. For real? Well, I can't make sense of it. It is titled, Process to Revive the Dead. Well, that's probably all you gotta know. I mean, you, you kind of figured that. I kind of figured that already, like, earlier, but alright. Arms, legs, chest, torso. I've seen this before. Hmm? There's more on the back. The head of the human you want to revive. A heart to serve as the core. A heart to serve as the core? Uh huh. This is getting very interesting indeed. This is a woman's skull, it seems. A magic circle and body parts. Did you intend to perform some kind of ritual here? Oh, and Matt Pie retired? Yeah, I saw that actually. <laughs> um. Yeah. I was never too big on Matt Pat, but like there were some some videos I just couldn't avoid seeing. So yeah. I'll miss I'll miss that motherfucker. Uh not if he was experienced ex, ex, experimenting on people. I guess. But then he would probably if he was experimenting for someone to be like a doppelganger of him. To have the same blood type, wouldn't it? Wouldn't he have done that to the guy, to the headless guy above, and also have the same fingerprints? So then, so, oh, so then, what was Lin Rhymevice's father trying to do? Let's take some time to sum things up. My guy, I already think I already figured this out like earlier. Like, come on. But it's a board to just do it normally. Alright then, how about... <sighs> to create puppets out of blood and manipulate them freely. To such advanced techniques as these... Wait, even such advanced techni techniques as these are a piece of cake for, my, for the great Arn. Granted, it uses the blood in my body, 
So it reverts me to this form. You've practiced the heck out of this on account of no jobs coming in, huh? It's been kind of fun watching you put on one-man puppet shows. Sh shut up, GCA. I've already forgot how to say this motherfucker's name. Isn't that easier to understand when you have things moving around like this? You've got a point there. Now let's sort out everything we've learned so far. Okay. Let's say this puppet is the one who attacked Lynn Rhymevices. Rhymevices. How the fuck do I say her name again? I already forgot. What's the relation between this person and her father? Uh, one the same unrelated un accomplices. The connection between Lynn Rhymevices. Rin. Rin. Lynn Rhymevices attacker. And her father is. They were accomplices. No doubt about it. Think it over. Wait, what? Um. I would say. It can't be unrelated, right? Or. It's not one and the same. No, I, no, I think it's definitely accomplices. No doubt about it. Right. Okay. In short, we can assume they had some sort of cooperate, some form of cooperation. Hmm. Yes. What kind of accomplices were they exactly? I'll get to that next. A retro game? Yeah, it's like a retro mini game, I guess. Now this is when the goal. Her father was secretly- wait. Now, this is when the goal her father was secretly trying to accomplish becomes relevant. Ah, the thing we found earlier. Indeed. Namely... Reviving the dead. Her father was researching a way to bring back the dead. No doubt about it. That's literally what- the, the, the thing we, we've been knowing this entire time. That process required human body parts. However, Lynn Rheinweiss's father lacked the strength to attack others. Yeah, seems like a guy who's seconds away from being bedridden at any given moment. That's likely why he had this person assist. Now, the next and final question. Who was Lynn Rheinweiss's father trying to revive? That's an easy one. Yes, but important. His daughter, his wife, his mother. His wife. He was trying to revive his wife. In other words, in other words, Lynn Rheinweiss's mother. No doubt about it. It's nothing complicated, of course. Perfect. Possibly he failed the ritual and summoned something that took his form, but then had to die. Yeah, exactly. But you can't. It literally. I don't think it's. Just skip time nine seconds? Oh. What? <laughs> No, 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 I don't, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure that's the actual father who is actually dead. The dead cannot be brought back to life, that much is obvious, but... Lynn Rhymevice's father was unable to accept it, so he made an attempt at black magic. And was killed. So, sure enough, was Lynn's father killed by this accomplice of his? That I don't know, we don't have enough information. Making it up as usual. But as far as the job I but as far as the job I took, that should be all I need to know. Time to report to Lynn Rhymevice. 
I should be able to turn into a bat just one more time. Your father's secret? Check. Alright, um... I'll be right back. I'll make another tea. Give me a second.
I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I got my tea ready. That didn't answer any questions. It only told us what we already knew. Uh, yeah. But I mean, to be fair, <laughs> we kind of, you know, it's kind of made to be like that, right? Because it's like, you know, it's a detective game. So we're looking at the evidence, we're piecing things together, and then like we're pretty much like we're kind of um you no know, we're, we're kind of summing it up in that little mini game yeah and plus this is just like kind of a tutorial level so you know i doubt that um no i i, I doubt it's gonna keep being this easy that's a lie it's impossible that father was murdered. It can't be true, can it? Mistress. I was talking to the father just earlier. Something like that couldn't have happened right after I tripped and passed out. Hmm. Mistress Lynn, the master really is. Lies, you're lying. I won't believe that. The spread just... I just saw like the sprite. No, all right. You don't want to try hole. It's not worth it. I don't know what that is. So, <laughs> with the master gone, Mistress Lin, only you. I don't want to hear it. Please leave. But I order you to leave. You're a servant. Do what I say. Uh. I deeply apologize for being too forward. Excuse me. Can't be, Father. Lord Arn. Phew, the blood's a, the blood's effect expired right on cue. Lord Arn. Lynn Rhymevice. You seem to be making a ruckus. Is something the matter? Please listen, Lord Arn. That butler, Gordon, is lying to me. He said that father has been killed. Isn't that awful? Hmm? Did you know about the secret room? Secret room? What do you mean? Ah, yeah. then he's referring to your father's room. Well, that is indeed a lie. R right, of course. I see, I knew it. The murdered father you two are likely talking about was a fake. Your real father's corpse was in the secret room. Eh? Why? Why are you seeing it too, Lord Arn? Arn? I found out from investigating your father's room. He was... Please stop, I don't want to hear it. Hmm, I see. If you don't want to hear it, that saves me the trouble of explaining it. Then, that concludes this job. I'll be off now, human. Uh... Oh! I just realized the, the cape he has is the coat he normally has. Oh, okay. That, that explains, like, half of the, the question I had. <laughs> what, human? I have no more business with you. Um... Come on, let's go. I'm going back to my castle to, sc to sleep. You can't. What can't I do? You can't leave. Huh? I finished with your request. There's no more for me to say. There's no more reason for me to stay. Is father really... Yes, he's dead. What, what would I lie for? Please take me to him. Hmm? Please take me to father. Human, do you mean you wish to die? It seems not. I won't believe it until I see it with my own eyes. Even if you're confronted with an undesirable re reality, 
I feel it may be too intense for a mistress of the house of Rhinevice. You're right, Lord Arn. I am a mistress of the house of Rhinevice. I've tried very hard to become that ever since my mother passed away. A mistress has no other. Uh, a mistress has others do things for her. That's just natural. Even everything with father, I'm sure. If I just. If I just stayed shut up in my room, I'm sure Gordon and the others would handle it. And then it'd be over. With me having done nothing but grieve father's death. Mother told me that I can't run away. That things would be alright if I faced them head on. Ah. In trying to be a mistress of the Rhinevice family. Who'd... Who'd earn everyone's respect. I was just pretending to have grown strong and overcome mother's death. But I was fooling myself. That's not the real me. In reality, I'm just like father. I haven't been able to move forward since the day mother died. I haven't even looked forward for one second. My dear mother. My dear mother couldn't have possibly wanted father and I to be like this. That's why this time, I have to look forward. And if what I see is the reality that father was killed, this time I won't look away. Not as a mistress of the Rhinevice family, but as mother's beloved daughter, Lynn Rhinevice. I'm going to move forward. Alright, got it. I'll take you to your father. Really? Why would I lie now after all that? Come with me. Thank you. You're going out the window? Obviously. I don't want to encounter any humans. But how do I... Like this. Now come. Huh? Why'd you suddenly change form? Wait. Are you carrying around the blood you took from me? In little bottles? Do the details matter right now? Come on, let's make this quick. What? Lord Arn, where are you? What? You're flying. Lord Arn, you're flying. You're a bit heavy. H how rude. That's not a thing you should say to a lady. But, huh, I guess you can fly even without becoming a bat. That's so cool. You should fly like this all the time. It's inefficient to fly in this form. Flapping wings is tiring and uses a lot of blood. And above all, it stands out like nothing else. True. By the way, we're pretty high. Where are we even headed? Well, your father's room, but... Huh? Haven't we gone past it by now? Hmm. <laughs> Let's call it a little bonus. Bonus? Humans don't often get an opportunity to fly through the night sky with the wind on their skin, do they? I thought I'd show you a bit of the world we vampires see. This guy acts like Pops from London Tale? Oh, Papyrus. Wait. Pops? Who? <laughs> the world vampire sea. The lords of the night. The moon's so close. Well, because we're flying. It's wonderful. Well, technically it's like a couple light years away, but alright. <laughs> But, why are you giving me this bonus? Because I'm just a tad intrigued by you, Lynn Rhinevice. Ah, you're calling me by my name again. He's been doing that the whole game. <laughs> it would seem you're still my client after all. Thank you very much. Just put up with me for a while, for a little longer.
Father. Father. Such were the findings of my investigation, particularly what your father was doing. Father was trying to revive mother? Yes, that seems quite evident. Father. With that, the job is completely finished. But what will you do, Lynn Rheinweiss? I... Even if it was to bring back mother, I can't forgive the things father was doing. However, it doesn't mean he deserved to be killed. And? What are you doing? Please don't look this way for a bit. Huh? Why not? Because I'm changing. Hmm. What does it matter seeing a brat like you nude? I said don't look. Alright, alright. Skip time again? Is this... Zip buffering? Is that what it is? Lord Arn, I have a new request for you. Not as the mistress of- Not as the mistress of the Rheinweiss family, but as the individual named Lynn Rheinweiss. This music slaps though. So good. Please work with me to find the person who killed father. You saved that outfit for special occasions, I take it? Yes! What would you offer? I'll do anything I possibly can. Ah, uh, well, I know I'm just saying... I know I just said anything, but no loot stuff, preferably. Truly Lin... Truly Lin... Ryan... Oh my god, I hate this name. <laughs> Truly Lin Rheinweiss. Does your idiocy know no bounds? I'm being serious. Gotta go, bye. Alright, have fun. Well, I have an interest in this case myself. I shall accept. Really? I already forgot how to say his last name. Motherfucker. Alright, um... Do I still have it on my phone? Nine two to. All right, indeed, I, R nine two to, accept this new request. Mm -hmm. Tonight is a full moon. This looks like a tag force game. Culprit, wherever you may be, let us dance joyfully beneath the crimson moon. Do try to entertain the great R92 to wood, won't you? Is that the end of the game? Or the end of the first episode, I guess? I get all this music is free to use music, but god damn it's good. I should find a new BGM for one of these. So now people are tired of my BGM. So I've been trying to use it as least as possible. I just realized the sprites were that the sprites are changing.
Yoo-hoo. Thanks for playing this far. I was watching you through a mirror, but I couldn't see your expression because you kept looking at the screen. The funny thing is, there's a, there is actually a mirror right next to me, so... Yeah, well, that's gonna... Get the fuck out of there, right now! Did you have fun? I mean, I don't really care either way. I've got something to tell you. So, Lin's dad got off this time, right? Well, apparently the killer is among the people who appeared in this part. Oh. It's not Arn, I don't think. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It also doesn't make sense for it to be Lin, unless she, uh, or maybe, unless she unconsciously did it. Damn, hold on. It could be Gordon, actually. I feel like it's not the lazy guard. Hmm. I guess so. It could be Gordon since uh, Wait. I mean, I guess mm, Because he didn't, like, he did, he was the one to tell Lin that father got killed, and maybe killed wasn't referring to the headless guy, it was referring to him, like, the actual dad. You know who it could, I think, I if I had to put my money on someone, I would say probably Elisa, actually. She got the least screen time out of any character here, except for maybe Kai. And Heinz, actually no, that's probably Heinz, but Elisa was always with He was she was always next to um, to Lin's dad. I think there's a slim chance it's Gordon, but I think Gordon might be possibly innocent. Yeah. I think it might be Elisa. Cause she was always next to her dad. She was always next to Lin's dad. And with how small she is, I wouldn't... Well... At least it's a good option, yeah. I was gonna say something, but no. I mean... Yeah... I would say it's either... Elisa... Or maybe Diana, but... Mm. I don't know. I don't know if I would really say it's Diana. I I, I think Elisa. Yeah, these people here. Try and guess which of them which of them which of these guys is the culprit who killed Lin's father. Cause there's not really enough info at this point, huh? Relax, this part was really just a prologue. The story of how Arn and Lin met, pretty much. Next time, the investigation led by tracksuit Lin and Arn will begin. So, I hope you'll consider the info in the next part and try to reason and try to reason out who the culprit is. You got all that? That's all I wanted to tell you. I'll explain more detail next time. Okay, that's the end of this installment of the Casebook of Arn. Come pay me a visit next time. Alright then, see ya. Get out of my mirror, you motherfucker. Okay. So that was the first game. I don't know why I had... Like, hold on. There's... Look at how many... Look how many save files there are. <laughs> For a game that's pretty linear. Hmm. Um... 